That's right. I have got myself a Jeep Gladiator Mojave. Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Robotive JT. That's right. I have got myself a Jeep Gladiator Mojave. Finally, you know, I've talked about the Mojave on the channel a lot and the opportunity arose to trade my white Jeep Gladiator Sport S for this Schnazberry Jeep Gladiator Mojave and I did it. Now, I'm gonna put a bunch of pictures up here so you guys can take a look at what I have. So if you're not into pictures, uh, you can forward on to the what's and why's and how's as to the details about this Jeep Gladiator Mojave. Okay, there you can see it is a gorgeous truck. You know, I love the Snazberry color anyway. I've talked about that before. So it's the perfect color for me. It is awesome. Now let's get into the what's and why's and how's and all that stuff. You may see that this, or you may have noticed that this Jeep Gladiator Mojave, I know I keep saying that, right? Is, uh, is familiar and that's because it is. This is actually the Gladiator Mojave that my mother had before. Uh, it came to the point where it was too high for her to get in and out of, uh, not comfortable and possibly could have even injured herself doing it. So she had had the white Sport S, the Gladiator Sport S that I had before, uh, the one that I swapped. We swapped vehicles. Uh, so I gave her the, the Gladiator Sport S in white, and she gave me the Gladiator Mojave in Snazberry red. It was a great opportunity. She was most likely gonna have to do something else anyway, uh, because she just didn't think she could continue getting in and out of this Gladiator because of its, its height. So it worked out well for the both of us. For me, why? Well, as I've said before, I do love the Jeep Gladiator Mojave. I've talked about it a lot of times on the channel. So I had thought about trading mine off eventually for one anyway. This is a 2021, by the way, with 1,844 miles on it. So it's basically brand new. The white one that I had, I think it had 4,500 miles on it. And funny enough, about 1,800 or something like that were miles that my mother had actually driven herself when she owned it the first time. I know, we're kind of nuts, right? Going back and forth on these vehicles. Um, why? Why did I get it? Again, uh, for the channel too. I think it's uh, it'll be interesting content for the channel. There are several things that I'm gonna do with this, um, including the bumpers. I'm gonna change the bumpers out. You know, my buddy Randall, you've seen his Jeep Gladiator Mojave on the channel a few times. We've done some installs of things and I like some of the things that he has done as well, so I'm going to uh, go with a few of those things for my Jeep, my new Jeep, new to me, uh, to kind of schnazz up the schnazberry a little bit, uh, including the front bumper, definitely going to change that. The rear bumper, that's going to be changed as well. Um, some of the aesthetic things, there are clear side markers that I would like to have on this. Right now it's amber. Not so bad on this color and with the orange accents that it already has. So it's not that they're terrible. The amber is really not bad, but I do prefer the uh, white or clear. I guess they're really kind of clear, more like a white really. But I really do prefer those as the side marker. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna put some LED fog lights on the front. This came without the LED package. 
unfortunately. So it does have the uh, regular halogen bulbs on the front in this in the fog lights. We're going to change those out. I think I'm going to change the tail lights if they're not uh, LEDs. I don't think they are LEDs. I'm going to have to check that again. I think they're just your standard uh, Jeep tail lights. So we're going to change those out. Maybe something similar to what I had on the white Jeep Gladiator, or maybe something completely different. There's all kinds of different things that come out all the time. So it's a good opportunity for me to try something else uh, and change up the look on the back a little bit. As far as the colors and stuff on here, you know, there's something I'm considering doing that's probably a bit controversial, and that is taking the Mojave uh, badge or decal off of the hood. I'm not a big fan of that. I may put something else on. I may be something channel related in orange because I do think the orange with the, the red kind of looks good. So I may do something else with that. I'm not exactly sure about it. We shall see. Um, but definitely gonna look at taking those off. And I say it's controversial because it is the Mojave. That's what identifies it as the Mojave to those that don't know. There are other things. Of course, it has the raised hood. That's the Mojave. Uh, the suspension, which you can get on others as well. But there are other things that differentiate it from the norm, I guess. And if you're an enthusiast, you'd know that. And if you're not, well, then you wouldn't. Of course, on the inside, we're going to have the typical cubbies and holders and all that kind of stuff. Um, I do need to put some sill protection on this. There is no door sill protection on here. I don't really dig that. Uh, just to protect the entrance area when you get in and out so it doesn't get all scratched up and ruined um cold air intake no brainer you know this thing is too quiet it's got to have a cold air intake and i may look at doing something with the exhaust on it as well i recently came across a blacked out dual exhaust for the wrangler and i'm thinking it will fit on the mojave as well but i'm not sure and even if it doesn't there has to be a blacked out exhaust for the Jeep Gladiator Mojave, something with a little bit throatier sound. Although I've got to say the air raid cold air intake, which is definitely going on this truck, uh, really does add some grumble, some thunder underneath the hood. Definitely going to have to do that. You may have noticed the side windows are not tented. I tent everything. We're going to do that. It'll be a 20% tent. The idea, of course, is to match the back so that everything is uh, in line or at least looks the same, as well as to darken it up a bit. I did that on the white Gladiator, and I think it looks awesome for the truck. Definitely going to do that. I may do that actually soon, very soon, like just a few days after I have this. Uh, otherwise, um, floor mats, just the typical kind of thing. We have the Gladi board in the back. If you're not familiar with what a Gladi board is, uh, do a search on the channel. You can find that. If I can remember, I'll link it down below, but I can't guarantee that I, that I will. Um, and then there's a few other things that I'm going to keep secret. You'll have to subscribe to the channel uh, and keep watching if you want to see what else I'm going to do with this truck. Anyway, that's just a quick look at it. Um, lots of pictures and stuff so you can see what I have. I think it's awesome. I'm very happy with it. And I look forward to doing a lot of stuff to this truck. Leave a comment. What do you think? Do you like it? Did I make a mistake? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive, all about Toyota Tacomas. And Rob Motive MT, almost messed up. All about mini trucks, including the Hyundai Santa Cruz, which I currently have. Check them out, and if you like them, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.